More on the value of Twitter and its place in our society. This is Mac Voices. This edition of Mac Voices is brought to you by the Mac Voices Slack, available to all patrons of Mac Voices. Sign up today at patreon.com slash macvoices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. This is part two in a conversation that started off uh, discussing the value of Twitter and ended up discussing more about the place Twitter holds in our society and how long it might last. Some pretty strong opinions here. I'm only sorry I wasn't part of this discussion, but I was at NAB. Um, But I think you will find the conversation very, very interesting. Let's go back and let the panel do the talking. So, Warren, go ahead, Mark. Go ahead, Mark. uh, Warren, yeah, Warren, I want to underscore Jim's question. So, Let's 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 not go too deeply down the rat hole of you know Donald Trump and January sixth. Yeah. But you've said numerous times uh, they 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 are go- going after it. I underscore. I repeat Jim's question: Who are the they of which you speak? Is it the media? Is it the Congress? Is it prosecutors? It's Congress. Is it a Congress? Polls all over Twitter and Facebook. I mean, who are the, who is the they? I don't know. Does it, does nobody else watch the nightly news? It's on every night that they they literally just said that um, they went through. They yesterday it was his daughter and somebody, and I think uh, uh, Don Jr. said they went through it and they're passing through the text and the tweets and the emails saying, uh, I think. You know, Trump is I, Trump put a stop to this, right? That's what the, and I'll pull those up too. But they're talking about exactly when that started to happen and what I'm saying to the president. So the daughter said, I think we oh, need okay, to stop okay. this. I think uh, the, the the son said, I think we need to stop that. What they're doing is going through their electric media to that's they. And so they is, I guess, it's a congressional hearing. Oh, OK. So, yeah. So let's let's. Let's let's redirect back to some, you know, back to, you know, uh, Twitter and Elon Musk. I, I want right. to go back to uh, to ask Jim a follow up, because I, I think uh, Jeff Warren and I, you know, we we had various speculations. But it, it seems to me you were the only one who expressed direct concern that, you know, it might harm you or some of your developer friends or developer community. I forget exactly what language to use, but, you know, could you elaborate on that a little bit? I, I, well, I just said community. Um, well, yeah, I've, I've, I feel like I have made friends. In fact, last week I had lunch with somebody that I met on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, and, um, you know, I have, you know, I have a developer friend in New Zealand that I met. I've never met him in person. I've met him on Zooms now. Um, and, you know, so there's a number of people that I, you know, I, I feel like, you know, yeah, they're friends of mine. Uh, and in some cases, not just like, you know, random people on Twitter, but people that, you know, it's developed. And, um, so, you know, and I'm not saying, I don't know what's going to happen, but, you know, imagine like what Jeff said is, you know, you know, s- s- supposition that well what if you know winds up being a fire sale because elon can't pay his bills and and basically the thing goes away um so so uh, okay so i i just go back so i just want to just clarify and maybe being pedantic about this but uh i'm wondering uh do you have specific concerns from things you've heard about this or is this a more generalized concern that somehow things could change and deprive me all of the value uh that i get from it i it's just i i you know warren said it's just a website and which is true but i was just saying well yeah but you know there's repercussions in the re um <clears throat> In, in 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 my real world now i i don't know whether they'll happen or not i you know i i don't you know i i, I don't know but clearly you don't pay 45 billion or 54 billion or whatever it is to make everything stay the same so things are going to change that debt has got to be paid off uh, um so you know things are going to change and be interesting to see, you know, how that yeah. how that how that works out, and and my guess is, you know, of all the possible trajectories, 
I'm guessing most of the ones that I can imagine are going to, you know, I'm going to wish that a different tra trajectory had happened, but we'll see. We can, yeah, we don't know that. I mean, the point I would make is that uh, somewhere along the line, you know, Musk in the past week or 10 days was, uh, was interviewed somewhere and he was talking negatively about the ad model. And right. so uh, to me, that raises the question, okay, if, if it's not an ad model, what is it? Do you expect, because I think, you know, his idea that okay we're going to validate users and how are they going to do it is you know, do you charge them a dime or a dollar or a penny um you know i think if there's any ongoing subscription revenue i think uh, sadly that you know, that may be a kiss of death and that may scare away a lot of people and yeah. maybe that maybe that's a good thing maybe that scares away all the people who just you know, have you know loud voices but you know no no commitment or seriousness can, can you know, i jump in because yeah, I, I went to to play off of what you just said, Mark, um, where I see that that the whole validation thing as potentially good. I think the the bad side could end up uh, uh, outweighing that. And what I mean is, once you start doing that, doing that now, you're taking away the anonymization, which is another thing you wanted talked about. Twitter has uh, been a platform where uh, we can have whistleblowers, we can have people uh, inside governments, inside countries that are sharing information in real time that's critical for world affairs. And the ability to be anonymous while, while uh, sharing that information, in some cases, is what keeps them from being literally killed. And, and, it would be a tragedy, I think, to lose that. And so I do have a concern about that part of it. And then if you do a subscription thing, you're like charge everyone a penny to be on so you can validate their real person. Okay, well, Twitter has become a worldwide thing. And and I mean, it started as something you did on a cell phone, you know, not a smartphone. And you can actually still do that. So what happens in parts of the world where to us, a penny isn't a big deal, but to them, they don't actually have money. I mean, they're fighting just to, to come up with enough money to have a functioning cell phone. And that asking them to pay any amount of money to be on the platform becomes a burden that excludes them. So while exclusivity... I can see a good side to that because now we can start weeding out some of the, the dumpster fires. The trade-off is, do we lose people that are actually critical in all of these other places? You know, that's a, that's a very good question. And I would expect that. So over the past, oh, six or so weeks, I've heard a number of long interviews with Elon Musk. And I mean, Sort of my sense is, on one hand, he's a thoughtful person. Uh, you know, he has a certain amount of swagger, and then when asked, he'll do you know, he'll give sort of flippant responses. And if you try to pin him down, then ultimately, uh, it seems like he'll change the subject and move on to something mm -hmm. he knows more about. So, um, what I take away from that is, in some regards, you know, he is a thoughtful person. Now, I don't know what he's thinking about uh, this platform, but. I could certainly imagine that when you think about different classes of users, I think we have a common agreement that a lot of these anonymous accounts, uh, you call them a dumpster fire. I call them, you know, it creates a, Twitter as a cesspool. So, uh, you know, it might be that uh, you could imagine various rings of membership, if you will. And, you know, one is if you validate yourself, you know, you have um, – you have a clear deck, you know, for, for posting. And if, you know, if you don't validate yourself, then maybe all you have is read only access, you know, to uh, what's going on in Twitter. You know, there's some pros and cons about, you know, these ideas. I don't want to go down you know, a rat hole of, you know, debating them, but rather to yeah. illustrate that there are things that Musk could do. I, I don't, he's, he's not, I don't know him. He's not my friend. I'm not going to call him Elon, you know, but there are things that Musk could do, you know, to, make some changes that, uh, you know, 
it could be small changes that can have a dramatic impact in improving you know what's going on on twitter because to me frankly one of the sort of the two of the biggest uh complaints i have about it are number one you know the amount of times they repeat the same yeah, that they present to me, you know, over and over and over again. It's sort of like, you know, guys wake up and web one bot transition web 1.0 to 2.0, you know, advertisers realize you have to limit, you don't want to saturate and alienate people by saying showing the same ad over and over and over and over again. You know, that's one thing. And then some of the other things recently where they made changes that you know, you pollute your feed that, uh, you know, if, if you're following somebody and somebody forwards that or makes a comment about it, you know, it's sort of, it it's brings in, it's just basically creating noise. So uh, I think they need to add, you know, better controls so that you're in control of what you see, because there's a lot of really great information out there, you know, that, uh, as you're saying, is, is, is current, is valuable, and it's timely. But there's so much noise out there as well. And um, hopefully they can make some simple changes uh, to do that. Because one of the things I was thinking about, yes, you know, if, if his idea is free speech, anything goes. Um, certainly you can imagine that, you know, some of this is, you know, speculation, uh, you know, and some of it is uh, pure science-based fiction or fact-based fiction that he could create, you know, uh, various uh, uh, machine learning algorithms that could, you know, understand, you know, the tenor of a tweet and, you know, different, just by looking at the different words so that ultimately you could have a control of stuff you want to turn up or down. So that's, that's one way that, it gives users the ability to, you know, filter out, you know, the crud that they don't want to see blasting across their screen. He needs to make that or not. I have absolutely no idea, but I think he needs to make a Sorry. I have a joke. He needs to make a translator uh, app in there. So people like from different sides of the fences could actually talk to each other and it will translate into human language of what they understand, what they're trying to say. Then he solved the problem. Let me uh, let me bring some of the folks in the chat room here uh, into the discussion. Uh, 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 Web Web in the chat said, uh, "I suspect Musk will turn it into an advertising platform." And I don't know about that. Uh, and Paul uh, says uh, he still he still makes he's still making money, so he won't go broke. Uh, yeah, I guess I could I could agree with that. Um, and uh, it's a uh, uh, I don't know if you guys any any comments on those two uh, on those two uh, comments in the chat, but uh, I don't know about uh, it being an advertising platform, hundred uh, percent on the ads platform. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing a uh, uh, a slow moving trend yeah. that shows that ad based platforms don't perform as well as uh, as advertisers would like, and that translates to less money for the uh, the social platforms and then throw in things like uh, like what apple is doing that makes it more difficult for uh uh the the platforms to track individual users for targeted ads and then that devalues the uh, the advertising spots a little mm -hmm. bit more and eventually it that gets diluted to a point where the uh, the money that that advertisers are willing to pay will no longer be what's necessary to to effectively support social media platforms so companies need to be looking at different ways to generate revenue moving forward and this isn't like a flip a light switch and it's a new thing this will be a a, a gradual process so i don't see elon uh ultimately turning twitter into just a big advertising uh machine no, because that's that's not going to be what makes money. And I totally forgot what the other person said. And I had a comment on that. Uh, I'll comment that I remember. He said, um, Elon's not going to go broke. He's going to keep making money. Keep making money. Um, so my my comment is, yeah, I, I mean, his cars are selling. Uh, rich people are paying to go into space. Chuck just gave a glowing review of the, the tunnel. Right. So, I mean, that's going to do well. And then he took to charge people on for that. Um, you know, so all of, all of his other ventures are still kind of 
doing well and making money. So, you know, he's going to have a steady income. Could he lose $24 billion? Um, uh, you know, quick, I don't know, quickly, but yeah, it could go south. It could go south and he could lose Twitter. And again, there'll be another Twitter um, by somebody else. I promise you there will be if that goes, if that happens. But well, uh, if, if Twitter goes away, the new Twitter is Facebook. No, I mean, not necessarily. I mean, you know, we also well, Twitter is small compared to Facebook. It's, we're yeah, we're, it's we're also, yeah, but we're also a, we're also very generational in this stuff too. And things change as we grow. Right. Cause you know, again, you know, my, my son would, you know, my son doesn't Twitter or Facebook cause you know, he's younger and he's 20 and so know, he's Instagramming that. and TikToking. Right. So that all changed. Right. And that, and there's gonna, you know, when Instagram and TikTok came out, I had no idea what those are. And, you know, you, you, you know, I said, there'll be another uh, Twitter. I'm not saying it's going to be like, you know, one day it's going to be like, you know, Twitter and it's going to be out. It's going to be one of the things that maybe the kids are starting to do. And we don't know what that is. And it comes up just like TikTok and, 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 and uh, Instagram and the other one he does that, that, that I don't remember. Um, Probably Snapchat. Snapchat. That's a big one that they do. And it's going to be one of them. And then, you know, they get older, you know, that they're, they're using that app. And all of a sudden that's a new Twitter because, you know, now they're relevant in this conversation of social life, you know, society. I actually, like Warren, I, Warren, I, I, on one hand, I agree with what you're saying. But on the other hand, I, I think I, I view it slightly differently. And I think that, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing evolution from, uh, an unnatural one size fits all. And we're seeing maybe fragmentation or development of, you know, alternate you know, type of social media tools that meet the needs of different people. This edition of Mac Voices is brought to you by the Mac Voices Slack, available to all patrons of Mac Voices. Sign up today at patreon.com slash Mac Voices. But we're talking about the age group that we're in now, and that's why we're, our conversations are heavily Twitter and 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 Facebook because that's the generation we are in. And that's you know, like, uh, uh, and again, you know, people on Snapchat, I'm sure as they start to grow older, and my son went from like you know 14 to 20 on Snapchat. I'm sure when he was 14, he was talking about Pokemon and uh, Madden. Now, you know, there's posts about government, there's posts about the war, there's posts about life, and they start to do that because they get older. And that's what they, you know, when you get older, you don't care about Pokemon as much as you do whether we're going to like die in a nuclear war. Um, but, you know, six years ago, he might, you know, that might have been true, not true. So these things do evolve and they do, you know, <laughs> Twitter's not going to be relevant for ever, Facebook either. Nothing is. I mean, it's be, as evolution grows, and we're like, you know, and it's starting to hit our nursing homes, and when the five of us are not that far away, um, oh, we're kind of. I'm sorry. I mean, in, in relative, relatively compared to you know my kid or whatever, you know, we're gonna be, you know, not. We're not gonna be in the relevant social networks as people who are our age now just like the people now so dirty little secret anyone here if they're older than 32 or 36 they're out of the target demographic where you know all the big advertising dollars are invested yeah. hey, maybe but kids, but kids don't but the other problem is kids don't you start talking about paying uh, tears on twitter kids will not pay for any social network it is in, engraved in our mind that this is i am not paying for data i'm not paying for something that's not that i can't hold they're very 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 clear on that if they could have a, like a free game over a pay game they'll do that unless they you know unless it takes off kids you know even my you know i have plenty of in-laws that are like this they will if if twitter costs 10 bucks uh, you know if twitter costs 10 bucks for, for a 10-year membership and then whatever else that they might want to do is free 
even if they were on Twitter, I would guarantee you that most of them will just jump off because they don't pay. As a, as a software developer, Warren, I can assure you that you don't need the word kids in that sentence. It's just humans. Humans. Don't, yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Warren, you made a comment about, about how uh, the social platforms eventually will not be relevant. Each one is going to... No, I didn't say that. I said the current, the, the social platform, uh, X social platform won't be relevant in right forever. right right yes so, and that, and that's not, exactly what i meant yeah. i got i got and, and you social said. networks yeah. you know 50 years from now may not be relevant either because you know but just they like will 50, have evolved into something right because 50 years ago you know they, they were like you know the 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 newspapers were that right that's their social that's their facebook uh you know 50 right. years ago was their facebook and right. that was relevant and you know then people got older and then, you know, they were watching TV and then the old people are like, yeah, you're watching that box and blah, 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 things like that. You got to read newspaper. And then it goes from TV to the social network and then whatever it's going to go from there. Right. And newspapers had a pretty long run, Warren. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the problem put a, put that, that I'm seeing. Yes. Or, or the potential problem that I see. Letting Twitter, Facebook, whatever social network run its natural course and then fade out in whatever way it's it's destined to fade out. Okay, that's fine because that's the natural order of the technology and communication and social interaction. The problem I see is if Twitter ends artificially early oh, sure. because because of uh, some sort you know, whatever it is that happens. But let let's say just for sake of argument, five years from now, Twitter's gone. That would be a big problem because there, there are so many things happening, communication things happening around the world, real time, jur journalists, uh, politicians. Just you don't think it's people. happening on, on Snapchats and all that other stuff too? It is, but that's not the point. The point is that currently there are so many things that are happening there on Twitter that if that was cut off artificially, they would do the that. Would, no, Why? eventually Why? yes, but I'm not no. Letting Jeff, finish. Okay. What happens is you, you you are muting all the conversations, and all these people that suddenly lose that uh, that platform, they can't just instantly pivot to something else. E even though you and I may have five different social media uh, platforms that we have access to today, that's not how it works. You you have all these people that that are saying whatever it is that they're saying that's actually really important for society. And if that is suddenly silenced, even though they can go to other platforms, they are still silent because at least for a while, because it takes time for people to find them and get on those platforms and then get that, uh, that discourse happening again. So if it happens naturally, those, those, uh, uh, voices are slowly migrating over to whatever platform is appropriate for them. If it ends prematurely, they don't have that opportunity. And we have this artificial silence. And that's that I see as a potentially really big problem if something like that were to happen. It does. So let's, just, but it does go both ways, too. I mean, bad people tweet and read other tweets. Oh, sure. So, so yeah. I mean, by by good people tweeting each other, warning each other, whatever they're doing to 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 help each other, bad people are reading that too and counter counter attacking based on that. Right, info. but that that's not but the point. No, I know that's not the point. And I just went there too. But the, you know, again, the, the you would think that a lot of people who are on Twitter that use it for almost like life, like you're saying, mm -hmm. you would think they would have a backup plan. You would think, but but they don't. And in many cases, there's not a viable backup for them. A part of what makes Twitter so useful for people is that it's it's a very lightweight platform. It's super fast. It's easy. It doesn't take a lot of resources on whatever device you're using. Jumping over to, say, Facebook. Okay, they light, that's... They have a light That doesn't matter. It's It's from a user standpoint, it's it's not as lightweight... Uh, use okay. 
And, and then like switching over, say to Instagram or TikTok. Okay. Well now you're adding in an extra layer of, uh, of content they have to create to get the message out. Jeff, if you're talking about this thing that are that important to people, you're talking about switching an app. Come on, let's come on. No, you're, yeah. you're, you're not. You're talking about switching a network, right? It's not the app. It's the network. What do you mean the network? Well, the I'm people, switching from the people, people I I'm follow. Switching. It's the people that follow me. Right. Right. But, but they, they would have to build it again on whatever they go through. Yes, it sucks. But that's what that's what you know, that's what they do. And, you know, I, I, the, the you problem. can't really if we're relying on that on, on a company and we're relying on this one company to do this then we're, we're doing something really wrong. Uh, and and yet listen. here we are, because that's exactly what's happening. The, the, we should tweet out to everybody saying, listen, get on two or three other backup networks right now, because, you know, again, I wouldn't, you know, again, if Facebook shut down tomorrow, I wouldn't be like completely in like hard shock. It would be weird and I crazy. That people are saying, you know, it's the end of the world. No. But, it, it, but, you, but, but, you know, it seems like you're saying, well, it's, you know, it's nothing. I'm not saying it's um, nothing. I'm it, saying well, it's a, it's a, it's seems a website. to be, you're like, it's, it's, just a, an website. App. it's just a website. It's, it is. You know, of well, no it's like saying a hospital is just a building. Yeah, that's not true. That's exactly not what I'm saying. A hospital is an actual place where people go and like be treated by people. This is a website. This is a, the equivalent of, this is an equivalent of a public place is all it is. Uh, and in, 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 yeah, basically, it's saying that, you know, if we all in the old days, if we all met at, you know, the, the local meeting house and one day it burned down, you know, the town wouldn't like go crazy and, and die off. They would say, OK, well, let's meet at that meet house and I'll meet you there. And this is where we're going to be. Tell your friends. That's how it's going to work. Well, that's, that's a small town. That's small town. We're talking worldwide now. So let's say that you and I are meeting at at uh, at the local um, Elks Lodge. Yes. And there's someone from the Ukraine that is able to call in just to the Elks Lodge. And they're telling us about all the atrocities that they're dealing with as their country is being invaded. And the Elks, Elks Lodge burns down. Mm hmm. Now that direct line that they had is broken. How do yeah, they get their message out? How do they get Where their message do we go? There, there are plenty other ways on the internet to to contact somebody. And say, I am now, I am now on blah blah social network. My username is blah blah. How is yes. that? How is that? And now everyone has to find that. Okay. It's, so, so Warren, you and I, we have the luxury of being white guys in the United States, where it's very easy for us to do exactly what you said. And I jump around. They didn't all hand the around to all these countries like they, they didn't hand out these lock phones to Twitter. You know, they're not all running around with Twitter phones. They, they, these are this is if they got on Twitter and they figure it out, they'll figure out how to get to something else. This is, you know, this is not going to be that hard for them. Okay, let's, let's, hand, so let's, yes. work through, um, let's work through this. I think we need to move on on this topic. Okay. So let's just put on go ahead. So we've we got the final word and, and then we'll move on here. I'm having fun. Okay. Oh, who gets the final word? Jeff. Oh, Jeff, go ahead. Oh, dude. Sweet. Yes. Uh, Warren, I absolutely appreciate what you're saying. And, uh, and from a technology standpoint, you're absolutely right. From, from, the, from a perspective of the way humans act and interact, it would fall apart and it would be a dumpster fire for a while while people are screaming into the void because they wouldn't, they, no one knows where to go. And, uh, and getting that, that maelstrom of lost voices to coalesce again I mean, look, look how long it took for Twitter to become what it is. I just it's not going to happen that fast. We're worldwide connected at this point. This is a lot. You say you say that's a small town, but we're literally we could tell people in Ukraine something right now. We could. You know, I know. And it's awesome. It's I don't awesome. want that to go away. It, All right, Mark, it, Mark, go ahead. We, we could we could communicate to anybody. And if somebody loses Twitter, it's not like they fall off the grid. We'll, you know, we'll find them and we'll find out how to get them to the next place. 
The panel finally gets away from their discussion and debate over Twitter in the next edition of Mac Voices and talks about podcast exclusivity and some of the exclusive podcasts, very high-profile podcasts, that are leaving Spotify. That's next time on Mac Voices. I hope you'll join us. Until then, and as always, I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page, and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices, or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.